Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm very honored to be invited by uh, uh, our, the MCU to be the, uh, the visiting professor of the IBSC class here. Uh, the subject I suppose to talk about is uh, the concept and uh, concept and uh, okay. concept and uh, principle of my uh, Buddhism. Probably here uh, we have some Mahayana variable here. Mm. So uh, now. Uh, <coughs> Uh, concept and principle. We will <coughs> we will uh, talk later. First, I would like to talk about what is the first sermon of the Buddha after his get enlightenment under Bodhi tree. In Theravada tradition, of course, we know the first turning wheel at the deer park when the Buddha come to that park to talk with those five fellow ascetic that practicing uh, meditation with him And in that, of course, in that uh, uh, sermon, the first sermon in, in Pali Canon, we know that that is the first theory, the first concept and principle of Buddhism, actually not Theravada or Mahayana, but this is Buddhism, that means the principle of Midden Way. But then we will, later on, uh, that means we have had time, we will talk about the, what the Midden Way means in Mahayana Buddhism. How they define Midden Way. In that first sermon, the Buddha talked about that means you don't uh, mortify yourself, but you, you should not indulge too much. You keep a, a Midden Way of life that how to live. This is very important. And later on, Mahayana Buddhism will develop from this idea of middle way. Of course, in Bali Canon, in another sutta, Buddha also talk about the middle way in another way. Not in the, in the, just like in the first sermon. Talk about that some people will say everything exists, And some say that, no, after we die, nothing exists. Gone. So this is the, this is the being and non-being. The midden way, in, even in, in Pali, canon. Yeah, you could, uh, now you could search for yourself on the website and wish sutra in, in that, uh, that, that theory in there. That means being and non-being. When Buddhism and the Buddha teaching is not, we are not a firm being, no, not a firm non-being, we are in middle way, in that sutra. So, the first sermon, that man, but now I talk back to the first sermon, that the middle way in the way of life. But then, now, uh, what is the first sermon to the Mahayana? What is the first sermon of the Buddha? Of, the Buddha? of course, uh, the, it's the Chinese Pitaka, that means uh, they have the Agama. In Agama, that means uh, corresponding with the Nikaya in the Pali Canon, in Sanskrit uh, the tradition. They also have that this turning of the wheel, that Sutra. 
but then the famous sutra in Mahayana and that is they consider the first sermon of the Buddha that is the Avatangsaka Sutra the Garland Sutra uh, in Chinese uh, Hawaiian in Vietnamese Hoang Yim in Hoang Yim uh, so uh, we have only that, that sutra also we have Vietnamese now the Vietnamese student here could read it um, probably later on I I will ask the one of Venbon, uh, the Venbon, uh, the disciple of the Venbon Titin. He's a uh, former uh, chairman of our Executive Council of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. He's translated and will present to uh, IBSC uh, the, that Vietnamese version of the Avatangsaka. So that for the Vietnamese student here to read directly themselves <laughs> much faster. Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, the um, whose main character of this first sermon of course you, you have the Buddha after enlightenment where the venue of that sermon not Deer Park but at the Bodh Gaya itself and then who is the listener the disciple We have uh, Balika and Tap, Tapusa and Balika, these two businessmen. These two men in Palikan and also have it, that the name. But it, it, it just appear and then it get disappear. Uh, that means these two men, that means the first they seem, that means that mean in Palikan and also that they have that information that the first person that the Buddha met after his enlightenment is these two businessmen. Uh, and usually for, uh, in Mahayana we put it that the first two disciples of Buddha himself, he received that these two men that received two things. They have usually we have the uh, uh, three rules that Buddha, Rama, and Sangha. But th that these two men, they, they get only two rules. That Buddha, after they listen to the Buddha sermon, and they become the Buddha disciple, and they, he get only, they get only two rules. That means the Buddha and Dharma. Not, no, not Sangha yet, because they're only Buddha and these two persons. <coughs> so, uh, The uh, and that is uh, one of the, th the difference, you know, between the yeah, two tradition. The first sermon. And now we will talk about what the content of this sermon. Uh, this is a big sutra, you know. Uh, in Chinese uh, translation. Uh, there are three times of translating it. The first one, that a short version in uh, 40 volumes. And then later on, uh, they brought in, because at that time, because the, 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 the distance between India and China is quite long, you know. Uh, so. Uh, later on, they brought in a, a, a longer version, 60 volumes, translated into Chinese. And the final version is 80 volumes, quite big one. 100, 100 pages. And what is the, the man? teaching of the Buddha in this sutra, in his first sermon. He talked about the interdependence, interdependent origination, that everything is connecting with his author. That is what in Pali Canon we know, 
the famous one in Bali Canon. Of course, we have this uh, theory of interdependent origination. That is, uh, if this exists, then the other exists. You know? I mean, everything is uh, connected. We, Bo we Buddhism, we don't have a theory of creating God, you know. We have the idea that everything existing. And they existed in connection with each other. Yeah. They cannot exist itself. And in this sutra, the main content, the main theory, is this theory of inter dependent origination, that is Paticca Samuppada. In Sanskrit, that is Pratijya Samuppada. And of course, everybody knows that usually, in the, when Buddhist Buddhism developed in, uh, in the early period, this theory of inter dependent origination become the main principle of Buddhism. And up to now, if we Buddha, somebody asks us what, how we can see uh, what is existing here, we say that all exists in connection with each other. They cannot exist alone. Put everything into a system. Uh, so, uh, and of course we know that the Paticca Samutpada also, in, we have in Bali, we have the word Paticca Samutpada. But the thing is that the, this, in Mahayana, they push it. That means the, the first sermon, in the first sermon, that means the, the, the truth that the Buddha discovered under Bodhisattva is, is this one. That they discover everything connecting with each other. No creating God. Everything is there. And of course we Buddhists, and we, 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 we I mean, try to live happily, you know, that what the Buddha bring to us is the, that the bring to us how to live happy. No, no, live happy. <laughs> that, ah, that, that, that's simple, very simple. You know, the Buddha probably he live in, in uh, the Rayon palace, but he still has something unsatisfied, usually dukkha. Dukkha, that means unsatisfactoriness, you know. Uh, usually we, we translate suffering, but actually uh, people say, say that it's, it's, it's uh, even in Chinese too. But it seems that uh, translate that's not uh, very clear. Actually, that unsatisfied, and we feel it's, uh, it's not enough. We still wish something. So, uh, so uh, the Buddha brings us that make we feel uh, happy, that make we feel satisfied. <laughs> that means we, we have enough. Uh, so, uh, and the person listened to Buddha at that time, these two businessmen, when uh, we do the CPT text here, <laughs> on Mahayana side, we introduce one fragment, quotation from that sutra, but then uh, an available Mahayana available. We have a Mahayana, Mahayana cloth, or that in garment. Ask me, in that sutra, because he, he knows, of course, it's Mahayana, so he knows this sutra. And he said, that means that sutra, Buddha talk, there are a lot of. Uh, Entourage, thousands of them in that sutra. Uh, so he asked me, where did the Buddha get so, so many entourage? <laughs> when the first, under both body tree? 
It just get up there. No problem. Formerly, that means two thousand year, four to more than two thousand year ago, that area, that been forest, quite quite dense forest, thick forest. Uh, um, and 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 where did the, of course these two uh, Malika and uh, Tabusa is all right. Two person is all right. Two name is all right. But then in that there, there are a lot of of people in there. Where did he, he get those? Uh, People, but I think probably the up to now. Let me see that uh, from uh, Raskia, that mean the the Raskia, that mean the 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 captain of uh, Magadha, and there are some uh, from from the Patna Pataliputra come down there. We probably they they have a a row running through that area. I believe so. But, but the road still around. That I means when now <laughs> we go to, from Batna to Ratki on the same and we we'll get close to there. I think uh, just like that, that, like when uh, I visited the Aranta, you know, it's now Aranta is on uh, and forest. But then uh, formerly that must be there the uh, road from Oranabad to Mumbai somewhere. That's why that. The people say that at that time, all those merchants, they offer dana to, yeah, to the, uh, uh, the, the monk there, to the community of monk there. And that the monk there, they, they have time and they have food and, uh, and, they, could, uh, and they could uh, have some money to, uh, to, 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 to uh, ask the help from uh, scounter or some on those craftsmen to carve out that Ashanta cave painting, you know. Anyway, that now is in, in forest now. But then now, uh, in the 19th century, that means the, the, the Englishman, that means some English uh, officer uh, on hunting trip, and uh, they find out <laughs> that, that Ashanta cave. Anyway, I think the 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 boat guy yeah that now of course now it's uh, on 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 the road between Jaskia and, and 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 Bihar something like that but then uh, at Buddha time I think that probably that road already exists so but then they we have these two merchants two businessmen of course at that time if you do trade you do business. You should have something to sell and to buy. So I think these two merchants, they have a lot of entourage with, it, with them. And that's why in the Vavatangsika, the Buddha not only talked with these two merchants, but also that on these uh, He's uh, that these two first merchant entourage, that um, uh, helper, also there. But of course they uh, belong probably during that time. Uh, probably these two is is uh, just like right now. That I mean um, big businessmen we come in and they we couldn't contact on their helper, you know. That's right. They, so uh, so uh, the Buddha. I yeah, talk with these two. Yeah, but in the sutra itself, it they depicted, uh, yeah, the 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 Buddha not only those with these two merchants, but also a lot of people. Yeah, one day what they call bodhisattva, and I will talk about that the concept in uh, Buddhist in Mahayana Buddhism. We have concept of bodhisattva. Of course, in Bali we have Bodhisattva too, <laughs> but then uh, it uh, just like it uh, uh, put uh, in a very small place. But in uh, Mahayana, it pushed out and become a big subject, big way of uh, of how to conceive the Bodhisattva, uh, Bodhisattva Maga, and then. Uh, Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, I suppose we have one hour, you know, we have one hour of discussion, yeah, so I have only, I see very much, and, and I like, we have, have half an hour more, so, um, Bodhisattva, you know, it's in this sutra also, that they talk about the Antara of the Buddha, they are the Bodhisattva, that means, the idea, the concept, and later on the theory of Bodhisattva, Maga, that Bodhisattva way, only stuck with this first sermon. Now, now the, the second concept, principle concept, or principle of Mahayana Buddhism. That means you have interdependent origination, then Patija Samutpada, and then you have a Bodhisattva around. Bodhisattva later on become Bodhisattva Maga. Uh, what the content of Bodhisattva we will talk later on in, in this afternoon, yeah. But then, so, if we have a good summary of this first sermon. He spoke about the Buddha talk with the normal people, merchant people. And these two is the first disciple of the, the Buddha. And then the doctrine or the truth that Buddha ate, experienced himself in his enlightenment is the, the theory of interdependent origination. The way that we clearly say that everything exists is in, in interconnection connection with other, other things. Nothing exists itself. No creating God. God. And this one we all, uh, later on, we all, uh, that means the interdependent origination, the theory later on, will lead to a, more, a third concept, principal concept of Mahayana Buddhism, is the emptiness, Sunyata. In this sutra, uh, that the uh, Buddha just slightly talk about it, uh, not, very, not very deep in it. But in another section, in another sutra, a big one, Swan Sang, he translated into Chinese uh, 600 volume, very big, big, <laughs> big sutra, talking about emptiness. That is the, the Sutra of pra, Prajna Paramita Sutra, 600 volume. That 100,000 100, sloka. Now a fragment of it, that means the, uh, the, the uh, 25,000 uh, sloka still existing and a few of it and 8,000 sloka is still that in Sanskrit still existing and uh, my friend uh, Professor Lancaster he put uh, on website you could check for yourself on uh, the University of the West and he, he was the president of that university and he, he put it up uh, the Raymond the, the, uh, Sing Yun gave a, a, a fund uh, to work on that and, and, and put up in on, on about the universe of the West, yeah, look into the universe of the West, yeah, uh, the, the, uh, in Los Angeles, yeah, America. So, that is 600 volumes, so it's, uh, if, 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 uh, that means, that means, Swansan translation, that, that only sutra is like this one. So, uh, when we look at it, sometimes we get, <laughs> <laughs> doubt that you know that mean uh, <laughs> two two big sutra 
And of course, the direct translation into Chinese is uh, step by step, uh, 8,000 sloka and then uh, a few uh, fragments of it. And then uh, the first one is in the uh, early uh, second century, only they translated into Chinese. Yeah. So, um, in, in that means uh, translate into Chinese in uh, 8,000 sloka. The question of this sutra is a big problem, you know. Uh, and later on, I think uh, if uh, here any venerable um, uh, have a liking for IT, for computer, I think uh, it's a question of using computer. That means uh, the IT uh, technique to determine because there are so many different sutra in there. And which one the earliest? Because it, it 600 volume like that. And how the Buddha could talk continuously so, so, so long. <laughs> so, in, in a speech, also, in, in a, a discourse. You know, so, so long like that. So we wonder ourselves. And how does this uh, put together? And the question now, for scholar now, myself, I only propose one way to use a mathematical statistic, you know. Potsung uh, only the method, you know, to, 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 to calculate. That means we put only sandwich into a memory in a dictionary, and then a memory, and then we uh, we somehow we sort out somehow that which one is first, which one is second, something like that. The 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 oldest one and then the 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 the, the, the older and then the, the later coming, something like that. That in in you know in um, in statistics on uh, in statistic in mathematics they have a method of of, of, of finding that of how that means in um, if you know about biblical the Bible. The Christianity, they have the Bible, a New Testament. Of course, we don't talk about Old Testament in Hebrew. The New Testament is written in, 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 in Greek, you know, not in Hebrew. I suppose uh, Jesus Christ is, uh, is uh, um, uh, some sort of uh, belong to Hebrew people, you know, some Hebrew speaking people. But then, now, the four Bibles. I don't know any women here uh, read the New Testament yet. <laughs> should, you should read. Yeah. Actually, to study English, to have good English, you will start with the Bible. I start learning English by, le by studying Bible. Because when I study with a pastor, you know, when, uh, in, in, in uh, 54, 55, when American come in South Vietnam, and at that time a young student, 11 years old, I come to Hue to have my high school. And then uh, next near to my high school, the famous high school uh, of Hue, where Ho Chi Minh, all those uh, um, leaders of Vietnam, they studied that, that school. So next to it, uh, not far away, uh, the uh, some American pastor, I don't know which de denomination they belong. He belong to, but he ran, he ran a, 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 a compound there. Then they, they, they organized the English teaching uh, in the in the afternoon and evening. That about four five p.m. and then. Uh, then uh, I uh, come and, and study, that means we saw that in English uh, class. Uh, so uh, I'm a young student, I, I, ca I came in. And of course the uh, class and they gave us uh, a bilingual Bible. And there will be English, and the one side English, one side Vietnamese, and a far Bible there. And of course, they uh, start uh, reading, for example, John. 
uh, John Mybon. We have Mybon. We have New Testament. We have four new four version. You know. You have uh, Matthew, the first one, Matthew. You have Luke. You have uh, Mark, and then John. And this pastor, he he loved what say probably he loved John, Mybon. So uh, New Testament. So he start uh, reading. So up to now, I still remember in the beginning the word was God on this thing, you know. That's the, the, the first sentence of the, that Bible by John. And, and, and you should read, because it, if, if you have to good English, bad English, you should uh, start with that. And when you do that by heart, of course you, you, you learn by heart. That means you, you know that your English is a very good one, you know. I, I believe so. That mean, uh, and then uh, they say so. They say that even that mean, you know, every American president inaugurated speech, usually there is some quotation from Bible there. <laughs> Is that right, Dr. Frankman, uh, Frank Hoffman? Yeah. That's right. That's right. But it, because that is the first uh, is the official literary English, you know. King James Bible. I didn't read King James Bible. I read this uh, master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the the Christian scholar, that means biblical scholar, because they now they discover a different version of New Testament. <laughs> In on the uh, on the skin uh, that mean on the uh, letter that mean uh, on the cloth on this thing. Uh, so now, they, for example, they have a Jerusalem um, Bible, you know, one kind of thing. So they try to figure out which one, <laughs> the the first one. What we have now, officially, that mean if now when I start learning English, you know. The uh, professor Sigon at that time, he from Harvard, and he gave me that mean the 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 Greek grammar uh, book of course, and then that Bible, the New Testament, edited by Harvard. I mean, four Bible in Greek, in in Greek, you know. So, uh, but then we have author discover manuscript of New Testament and the. Christian scholar, the biblical scholar, they try to figure out which one is the earliest. Of course, uh, if you know about Christianity and you know Coptic, you know Egyptian, the Ethiopian, and the e Egyptian uh, Christian, you know, that means they have Coptic Bible too. So, big problem in, in Christianity. Yeah. Just like the case, just exactly just like our Pranya Paramita Sutra, 600 volume. Now, usually now we in Vietnam or everywhere, uh, even chanting at Avesak, uh, chanting for peace, usually we chant only the, the, uh, about 10, 200 words of the Pranya Paramita Sutra, that they call Hark Sutra, that the Man Sutra. But then, which one is the, the, the oldest? Which one is the later coming? That big problem. So I uh, hopeful hope that uh, here, Benbon uh, sitting here, somebody will later on uh, working on this one. Try to work on how to figure out which one among the, you have. Uh, 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 that means uh, the half sutra is short one, and you have about uh, twenty or two hundred shloka, and then you have one thousand shloka. Uh, version and then you an 8,000 shloka version and 25,000 shloka version and 100,000 shloka version. And which one now we try to figure out and using present day me method, you know. Yeah. Um, and then for Buddhist studies, I think on Mahayana side, anyway. <laughs> of course, the, the on Pali side, on the Theravada side, I think big problem too. Mm. If we are here, we have, you know, in Vinaya, uh, we have the question of the 
I respect that mean the the the, the for the bhikkhuni you know in the bhikkhu we have bhikkhu and bhikkhuni vinaya and then in bhikkhuni vinaya they have a eight commandment for respect uh, I went to at one time I went to Taiwan they invited me to their day for some uh, nun the college there and uh, and uh, there was none they uh, think that uh, this just like uh, Somo, Venerable uh, Somo, Professor Somo at San Diego, yeah. that they think in, in Somo life, that means this A command of respect is, uh, is a later addition <laughs> based upon studying of the Pali there. I myself, I am not. Uh, I'm in. in <laughs> I'm, I keep distant from that. But then, at that in in that convent, no, no, I I didn't see any monk that I know in in Taiwan come to that uh, convent in in Taiwan. But anyway, that's a question. So uh, even in Pali, we big problem that in language, the question of language in even in uh, Pali canon, we have many we have many sutra, five Nikaya. Mm, so which one? We, we are not talking about the Vinaya. We talk about only the even the 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 the, the, the sutra. And uh, and uh, yesterday I talked with uh, some uh, a number of Vietnamese students about the that in Vinaya the German scholar Luder by name Luder he only find that in those sutra there are some background paragraph that. Is not Pali, and he published it in the by Academy of Science of the Berlin, in uh, in Germany. So it's very interesting. That means for Pali studies, and uh, the uh, so on the Sanskrit side, Mahayana side, the question of Mahaya Pratnya Paramita Sutra. In this sutra, 600 volumes, Swan Sang translation, won't talk completely about what emptiness is. In, <laughs> in, in uh, Buddhist view, in the Buddha world, that Buddha world, this is sutra, so the Buddha world. And of course you know that in Pali, people would think that this is a, uh, this concept is purely Mahayana Buddhism, is not. Of course, in, in Bali Canon, you have uh, the Maha, Chula, uh, Maha uh, Sunyata Sutta and uh, Chula Sunyata Sutta. You have two sutta about Sunyata, but very, very short one. Let us talk about very, very short. Uh, empty room, something like that. But uh, then, that means that show that there is the, 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 the that show that even in Pali tradition, in Theravada tradition, they only know that at some time Buddha gave a discourse on this subject, Chunyata. And I think they probably depending upon school. Just like now we have in Japan, for example, Vietnam is not, but that's it. But but in Japan, for example, for example, the Nichiren, for example, the the uh, the, 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 the 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 hockey uh, school, for example, they only uh, Namo Mel Fa Lien Hoa Ching. That mean uh, Ren Yu Kyo, something like that. That mean that they only they respect to the the Sabha Mundarika, the Lotus Sutra only. So I think they probably each school have adopted a theory of themselves and probably they, uh, because it's too, uh, the Buddha lived for almost, uh, uh, that means 45 years, uh, something like that. That means uh, for 45 years, that means he gave many discourses. So each remember to his liking <laughs> when the Buddha <laughs> teach. Buddha did, Buddha thought, and, and, and his life, he, that one, so he keep remember. Then the other one, he feel very strange to him. Or somehow he couldn't understand, or somehow he said that, oh, 
then something like that. So they he couldn't remember it. So the, I think that's why they had that kind of uh, yeah different tradition. But the remnant is there. Even that mean uh, in um, in this su- in this uh, Pranya Paramita Sutra, six hundred volume, they only have the similarly that mean the, the example that, that the Buddha talk about. That means his uh, teaching is just like a a, a rap for crossing the river. Uh, so after you crossing the river, then throw out the rap, not uh, not to carry with. <laughs> <laughs> on, uh, on the other side, and on uh, on the other bank of the river, then uh, then leave it the the raft there for all the people to, to cross back, <laughs> something like that, and not we go go on on ourselves. Much better than carrying with it on our shoulder. So uh, that that example that means that. In, we have in Pali and we have in Ranya Paramita Sutra and the Sutra famous in Vietnam, in China, in Japan. That is the uh, that means Diamond Sutra. Vatra Chedika Ranya Paramita Sutra. Uh, So that means I trace back for you to see that what have in Mahayana already there. That we have remnant. It's not purely new. <laughs> Even that is first sermon. <laughs> you know, the first sermon completely new. But then the personality. The person who listened to Buddha, there is, you, you have in, in the Pali Canon. Very interesting. For me, I, I think it's very interesting. The actual, actually, because now we have only those four, then four only languages. We have only those <laughs> Pali, in Pali, we have in Sanskrit, we have in Chinese and we have in Tibetan. So we rely upon only these four languages to learn about what our Buddha gave to us. So that is the difficulty, you know. So, but actually, the, um, that means show that we have many things in common. That be long different. Of course, the, we, are, we are not talking about Chinese translation and Tibetan the holy languages because they all are translated from Sanskrit. And only what is existing in Sanskrit, I'm not talking about Chinese or Tibetan. So, we, uh, up to now, I'm talking, we have at least uh, three main concepts of Mahayana Buddhism. That means uh, uh, interdependent Paticca Samutpada. Yeah. Second thing is about middle way. The third one is uh, emptiness. What the content of this concept is a big problem. You will see <laughs> if uh, we have time. And of course, uh, I should talk about the last time, that means uh, last year we have uh, the, to, the help from the IBSC, we talk about the, the uh, Madhyamika and uh, Vijnanavada and uh, some lecture there. And I talk about how we know. Hello, hello. One of the big hello. problem is how we know. Hello, hello. Ah. Buddhism responds to this question. And, 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 and just like later on, the problem not only philosophy question but also science question. 
Now they got what they call neuroscience uh, problem. That's how we see things. Because what we are talking now, we are talking with each other, we are dealing with each other, we are living with each other together like this one. It's through our perception, through our knowledge. Then how we know? No. The Buddha, of course Buddhism and the Buddha himself, he also not his, his, of course, he's a philosopher too, he's a scientist too, he's an educator too, uh, he, 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 many, he had many roles to play. But, uh, but then uh, the question for us, and later on it's become a school, you know, in Buddhism, in Mahayana Buddhism. That's how we know. And how we know it's true. It's sometimes it's false. <laughs> Knowledge is not always true, it's false. How we know true and false? Uh, I just uh, talked about, uh, and last time I wanted to mention that the, the question of middle, middle part, middle part between being and non-being, uh, just like in Shakespeare, you know. The question is, 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 is now the question is being and non-being in Shakespeare, you know. <laughs> How we know? You know we exist. This is a subject that now the scientists, present-day scientists, are very interested in Buddhism on this question through mindfulness or, or, or meditation. And, our, and this is stuck with the, the Buddha sitting under Bodhi tree, you know. The, he get all those things, that those three men can say from his sitting <laughs> under Bodhi tree, thinking about it. Not what you usually hear in, in, in MC, we talk about mindfulness. <laughs> yeah, we have a... a why? How, for the mind, what is mind? Uh, in English, big problem is it? You have a, a, a journal, formerly in England, they publish a mind magazine. But uh, in it's a long thing. There are a lot of philosophers, uh, that mean um, philosophers, they publish their article there, you know. And what is mine? When we talk here, it's true our, yeah. The question now is how we get this thing, and how we know it's true, what I am talking is true, with <laughs> interdependent, oh, okay. That's just like Descartes, you know, the French philosopher and French scientist. He, he said, uh, finally, uh, you know, cogito ergo sum. That means, I know, therefore I exist. That means, I, I know, that I don't know where everything around me exists or not. I know that I exist because I know. And uh, the, the philosophy of uh, Western philosophy, you know, the, the, the Socrates, the founder of, 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 of Western philosophy, they talk about, uh, usually in, in, in French, know yourself. Connect to to men. This question of epistemology, that how, how, why we don't know, how we know, we know, also addressed in this uh, Pranya Paramita Sutra. And in, for example, in Diamond Sutra they said that, 
uh, you know uh, the thai bone you see thai bone is not thai bone and that is thai bone <laughs> big problem <laughs> and in in uh, some years ago that when i was in, in the thai uh, some at that time the uh, symbolic uh, logic you know that using mathematical uh, from 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 Burton and and Whitehead, I mean, using mathematical to mater- materialize logic, true or false, you know, and I try try to formulate this kind of reasoning in the mathematical way, and I publish it, yeah, in 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 journal of uh, Notre Dame, Notre Dame University, you know, so. Uh, and of course, later on, this theory of of knowledge that in this sutra into a big school, uh, which uh, such uh, personality like uh, Asanga, Vasubandhu, Dignaga, all these people, Dagma Kirti, all these people, all on the. The, 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 I mean the Indian Buddhism exists for almost 100, uh, uh, 1,500 years. That means from the, the Buddha time to about 10 or 12 century. Then within that, in the last 500 years, mostly devoted to, 500 years or 700, devoted to this question. A lot of work written on on this question, and to third, together with this question, then it uh, actually now here we have uh, Vajrayana, we have Mahayana, but usually even the Tibetan themselves they consider themselves even uh, last time we have our Venerable uh, Venerable um, here, Tibetan Venerable here, they consider that Vajrayana belong to Mahayana. <laughs> uh, so we should talk about a little bit about this one. How we know? Um, so that means the four main concept of Maya Buddhism. I think the uh, the. Uh, uh, if we have time, then we will uh, talk a little bit uh, more about uh, these, uh, uh, these four concepts and what they are related together from Patija Samupada to the emptiness, from emptiness to the middle way, middle way they talk back to how we know, how we, we know, prajna, that prajna, prajna that means Rnya, uh, rnya in, 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 in Sanskrit that means no, you know, because uh, no that means uh, the same word. That means G and uh, uh, R that means that like no. Gnos, uh, gnos in, in Greek, only thing. Rnya in, in Russian, something like that. So it's all come the same. So that the question of pranya. Uh, so almost I only talk on this man thing and uh, now almost one hour now so uh, now this is the one hour of discussion anybody have any question please <laughs> yeah 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 I think uh, your topic is very important and uh, it would be useful for our students who learn Mahayana Buddhism right here we have Vajrayana, Mahayana, and Theravada. See, you can see all of them who are being here. They cho- but eventually, they have to back to early Buddhism. The way we try to do now, to bring them all back to early Buddhism, the way that, Buddha, Buddha, what, that the Buddha uh, would like us to understand more about the teaching. Of course, in the morning session, we be concept and principle of Mahayana. I do hope that in the afternoon session, 
we all we know more about how can you apply to use in your life the way you practice what is the way Mahayana practice to achieve enlightenment and it should be uh, in the afternoon session right so many times when we have an exco meeting uh, most you know when you know, professor dr prabhupada he talked about middle way of course this this year the main thing we talk about middle way so would you please explain more about this and compare together between interdependent and middle way because when you talk about middle way, Telavada monk will explain more about airflow part, right? When you went to join a middle way conference in China, when a Mahayana a monk from a Telavada monk from Sri Lanka, Myanmar, they take the floor. They will explain about the airflow part all the time. But when we invite Mahayana monk to explain something, then we talk about interdependent. Yeah. What is the thing? Who would you please explain and mix together about this concept, please? Uh, yeah. um, the first famous one, you know, uh, this is not a new question. Mm. The question that I mean, uh, from Nagarjuna. Mm. Nagarjuna is a big name. In Mahayana Buddhism. And of course, in Tibetan Buddhism, Mahayana Buddhism. Matyamika, his school, Matyamika. That means middle school. Yeah, so they usually say called centuries. <laughs> centuries school. Matyamika. Um, now, first of all, we have to know about what is emptiness. What does that will mean? So uh, I think it's self-evident. You know self-evident is very, very, very important. We will translate it as emptiness. In Vietnamese and in Chinese, we uh, translate it Kong or Kong. Very difficult to understand. For me, actually. Kong. But then in tradition of Chinese translation from early down to Regenerate, they use that one, Kong. We know the Sanskrit word for that means in Prajna Paramita Sutra, and then later on in Nagarjuna work, They talk about that related word Sunyata. In Pali, you have Sunyata. What does it work mean in Sanskrit or in, in, in Pali? Pali is a dialect of Sanskrit, so we talk about Sanskrit. Sun, that means the, the Sunyata. Sunyata is a noun, come from Sunya. Sunya is a participle of verb Sun. Sun, S, 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 It means this is a verb. Means square, square to square. When you have some uh, talk, come to your skin and then put your skin and then you can get swollen, square. That means that means you put your skin like this, but then uh, if you have some a problem, then it will or some. Um, so that means some sort of swollen, actually. The swollen match. And if we translate uh, directly the meaning of sunyata, it is swollen match. 
And this is, uh, it, is, it is actually, this is very formally, uh, I think the Buddha view, this is related to cosmology. So how our work come about? It comes out very interesting. And when we know Sanskrit work, then we see that, uh, first of all, Buddhism says that everything is there. But if there is some light like there and then it comes swollen, I mean, the empty inside, the swollen, I mean, something uh, out and empty inside. Just like the, 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 the wood, uh, by some insect coming like corn. The skin was, was that's corn. So this world is some sort of like uh, a, 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 a something there, and if something uh, the, I mean interaction, and then it's, it gets swollen, it becomes <laughs> manifested, something like that, or it becomes not manifested. Actually, in uh, in Madhyamika Karika chapter, that in the the book of Nagarjuna, they have that that sentence. Uh, definitely, usually in Chinese or Vietnamese translation, they said that nhân duyên sở sanh phá ngã thiệt tức thì không. That means uh, uh, whatever is uh, it will definitely originated. Then we call it emptiness. This is the this is the main tenet of Danya Paramita. That means if you read the, if you have chant uh, the Half Sutra uh, there's a, a I said that there. They said that form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Form is not different from emptiness. Emptiness is not different form. That means what, that means whatever form, that means whatever independently originated. Then it's emptiness. It's that very joy. Because now, at least we know that uh, our solar system here, Five billion year and some more five billion year, then we the, the, the sun use exhausted uh, its uh, energy, then it collapse, and then this, this this solar system will somehow disappear somewhere. <laughs> it it, it becomes it, it becomes somewhere, no, no, it goes somewhere, but it's there, you know. So this is too. Form and emptiness con con continuously connecting with each other. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you use this one, yeah. This one? Oh, the, oh yeah, the other one, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's soon. Yeah, soon, soon, yata. Yeah, soon, yata, yeah. Um, soon, yeah, soon, yata. So the, the, the verb, this is the radical. It gives you the, the participant, Sunyan, Sunyata. The, ta is the, the surface for, for noun. Yeah, this means swelling. So uh, you know, uh, 
because the Sanskrit, uh, just like Pali, it belongs to Indo-European language. So this is uh, swell, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's very, very, yeah, very close. Yeah, just, low, uh, just like we you know about, we talk about that in Pratnya. And we have a Pratnya. And we know, you know. Yeah, very, very close. Yeah. And uh, In that uh, work of Nagasuna, he won't talk, talk about that mean uh, whatever interdependently originated, I proclaim is emptiness. And then the second or the first the first half sloka, the second half is that he talked about based upon the A pratyati. Yeah. Upadaya, pranyati abubadaya. I declare it's, uh, it's mudan parts. Yeah, in that, 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 in, in 24th chapter, that the Madhyamika's work, Madhyamika, Karika Katra, I have about uh, 28, 29 chapter. In chapter 24, he has this, this sloka. Almost, yeah. Uh, but Pranyapti. Pranyapti. Uh, just like uh, last time we talked about fish nafti. This uh, surface is a causative surface for the verb nya. You know, that cause us to know. Uh, if you uh, learn English, or uh, you know Sanskrit or, or Pali, you will know that they are causative. Especially Sanskrit, Pali is much simpler. <laughs> but uh, but then in Sanskrit, that means you are causative. That what causes to know. A big problem. It problem is so that's why I think when we talk about Vajubandu, the Swan Sang translation, a big problem, Swan Sang translation. Actually, he's a great man. Mm. Uh, but then, when he translates all these things, big problem for the Chinese and for Vietnamese. We have the two words for that. Now, before talking about Vajnapti, I will talk about Vajnapti first. Vishnanya, of course, Vishnanya. We have uh, the, uh, this is, uh, and Vishnapti, Vishnapti here. The, they are two were quite different from, uh, from, from, uh, from um, surface. But then in Chinese translation of those two words, Swansang translation, very interesting. They, he used only one word in Chinese, Shu. In Vietnamese thức, usually they they translate uh, uh, duy thức. That means they are matra, vinati, matra, they are matra, matra, uh, matra. That means duy. Wait, wait. Yeah. So uh, 
big problem for the Vietnamese Chinese to 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 understand why these two words. One is closest to know, and this is only knowing or constant. Usually they they translate as consciousness. Vishnana. So the the Vietnamese when they read only they own they don't didn't know Sanskrit myself. When I start start learning Sanskrit, I feel oh big problem. We completely have uh, wrong understanding of Vasubandhu. So later on, so that's why I work on my dissertation on PhD on on Vasubandhu philosophy because of that. Uh, this one causes to know. And this is what I, I slate on. We, I think the, you know, in, uh, before talking about that I mean, middle parts, <laughs> because <laughs> why, why we have to talk this one before we talk with the middle part, with A? Yeah. That means no bone part, you know. That means we have uh, A phone. So, uh, uh, in uh, Vasubandhu and actually in Yogacara, they pose it, or usually in Pali and normal in Agama, we only talk, uh, talking about only six organ of consciousness. We have eye, ear, uh, only thing up to idea, that means the consciousness, the sick consciousness. And in the Pali Canon, in Agama, they also talk about how we have vision, how we have consciousness, okay? we have knowledge, that we have three things, that we have the object, we have organ, we have own environment, and so this gave us the consciousness. Uh, that the object, the organ, and then we have consciousness. Simple, the very, very simple way. That actually, the very scientific way. That now, the neuroscience, they rely upon this only. That they only test it, the organ, in the brain or in the eye and these things. And the stimuli, that they call stimulus, stimuli, that the object. Yeah. And that stimulation, what is the cousin that? That is, a, that is the, come from the stimulation of the stimuli and then the organ, our organ. Neuroscience based upon that. And this is a very big problem with meditation, you know. Later on, the meditation, we, how we suppress some, where we come from. I mean, because of how we, I mean, now, our brain, big problem, you know. I just read, uh, just still reading the, the book that uh, Professor Stanley brought to me uh, day before, and I went to the meeting, yeah. And then uh, about the uh, Dalai Lama talking with those uh, neuroscientists, you know. Very, very interesting, yeah. How we dream, how we sleep, <laughs> and, uh, how we waking day, you know. It, 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 uh, and then because of our Buddhism, we have all this uh, contribution. Because uh, what, the, what the, 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 the aim, what the goal of, of the Buddha for, for, for us is that we, we live happy, happily. And we live happily how we deal with, with, with our mind, you know. But what is mind? How we feel happy. <laughs> that way. So the, the question of knowing. Then, if Asimandu, he put, that means, of a consciousness, that besides those six, he put them the mano, usually not mano, manas, vijnana, and then you have alaya vijnana. Yeah. So, uh, what was this too? This is, I think, that later on, formally it's very difficult to understand myself. 
But when I come up with the uh, computer science, it's quite easy. Ahalaya means that my memory. And Manovinana is a uh, uh, um, CPU, the central processing unit. And the rest of six organ is just input. On those six organ is input. Input into these six organ, six consciousness, and put into a memory. And the Manovinana decide which one. We feel happy, or we feel unhappy, or we feel all these things that only come from this one, CBU. Ah, ah. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. I uh, would like to. I have a question. It's quite a specific problem about uh, Muramatyamika Karika. In Muramatyamika Karika, uh, chapter 25, and, uh, on this scripture, discuss about the uh, um, Nirvana not di different from Sangsara, and Sangsara not different from Nirvana. Yeah. 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 Uh, this is the. Um uh, Mika school tradition, maybe uh, okay, yeah. describe it. But I would like to know in uh, the according to the Yokazara school, epistemology is something like this is exists in, in Yokazara school or not? Uh Yoga Chara we are talking really this Yoga Chara school. What is this Yoga Chara we are talking now. We are talking Yoga Chara school. Yoga Chara Yesterday, it's in there, the one of the uh, Vietnamese students here, the, he proposed to write about three yana. We have Travaka yana, uh, Pratijeka Buddha yana, and then Bodhisattva yana. And I advise him to use the Asanga work of Yogacarya Bhumi, Yogacara Bhumi, Satra. In that uh, Asanga, actually, we may meditate, mindfulness, you know. <laughs> we, we sit down, the Buddha sit under Bodhi tree, concentrate, and using his uh, mind or something, he friend, something like that, and see that, not uh, discover that the, the inter Patita Samutpada, the interdependent origination. So the question is now, usually throughout history, Buddhist history, that means the question how we have that kind of perception. And then you ask that means, it's all right, that means because uh, for Mahayana Buddhism, and I think uh, the same in Theravada Buddhism, but not publicly or explicitly, Implicitly they have it, but not ex ex explicitly talking about that samsara is nirvana. That means because the, the, the Buddha come to this world and give us the, his lesson is that we live happily, in the way that we live happily. That in this world. That's why it's, this is samsara, you know. <laughs> Then another another author work outside of the samsara. We don't can find find nirvana outside of this one. Just like in uh, even in uh, in pure land, in pure land, you know they worship the Amitabha Buddha in Mahayana. And of course they said uh, there's uh, Sukhavati Sukhavati land. Far from here, on the west side of our uh, globe, there's a Buddha called Amitabha there. And that uh, 
world. They could live uh, forever. Uh, uh, they have a lot of uh, that means, but live forever because uh, they it go with the and they probably they have uh, the sun. The sun they probably somehow repro repro reproductive or re repro re re repro uh, reproducing uh, energy. So that their sun would not collapse, just like our sun. Our sun is now some sort of like a, a nuclear uh, reaction. So uh, it used at some certain amount of time, then it run out of the resources and it will collapse, the, our sun. That is now in present day knowledge of, <laughs> scientific knowledge of the, the sun, you know. And it collapse, and if we get the sun collapse, our, the whole solar system will collapse because the no inter. I mean, if something happen, then the other thing will happen. In 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 Buddha theory, so that means if the sun collapse, then our will collapse accordingly. You know, so that Sukhavati land. If somebody asks me whether it exists, or not, I said yes. But because with our, with our no, limited knowledge now, uh, formerly, for example, in, in the Bible, they only count about 5,000 years from the time that God created Adam and Eve, you know. Uh, 2,000, <laughs> that means more, more, more than, that means from the Akkadian. Not from the Bible, the New Te Old Testament, but from Akkadian Genesis. I mean, the, about three, uh, three thousand, uh, four thousand years ago, people think that, and they count down about five thousand years. But then later on, we expand our knowledge of the the world, of the the, the cosmos, and we know that now we have about uh, fifteen billion uh, years. But then, uh, who knows? Later on, if we have better Equipment will look uh, through the sky and we see many other things <laughs> we haven't know, you know. But but one thing is uh, um, I think it uh, in in Buddhist view. I mean in in my I, I understand Buddhism. That means first of all we have no beginning because no we have no creating God, so no beginning. That thing just. Uh, uh, empty and then form and form empty. That means they continuously something in 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 this cycle. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. It's a very interesting and detailed, uh, well thought out uh, presentation. I'm very interested in the question of uh, when we look at middle way from philosophical points of view, I think we can see different senses of the term middle way. So I'm going to describe what I see there and ask if you have comment about it. Um, I think there is an ethical sense of the middle way as when the Buddha decides on the great renunciation. In this context, the question is, the type of question, um, is sensualism of the princely palace or some kind of annihilationism, giving up everything? Is there a middle way for Buddhism between these two extremes? If you look at it in terms of being and non-being, that's an ontological question. And is there a middle way for Buddhism there to avoid ontological extremes. If you translate sat and asat, not as being and non-being, but as existence and non-existence, then you have another possibility, which is the idea that uh, Buddhism might have a middle between annihilationism and eternalism. Yeah, thank you. Uh, of course, uh, you talk about wet middle way. That's why the first sermon of Buddha in Pali Canon, I think it's uh, because between modification 
and dungeons that show that it related to lifestyle, that human lifestyle. That we have give the Buddha, the, the object of the Buddha is to bring a happy message for happy life to human beings, you know, to humankind. So in, that when human, if we, they wish to have a happy life, they should avoid these two extremes. That means mortification is not good, of course. But then adulterance or sensualism, as you said, that means it's not, it's not right. You have a midden. But then, when we talk about how we have midden way, that means in, in Pali Canon too, that means uh, Raymond Hansari talk about that, we have a, 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 a phone bath, that means right view, right thinking, right view on these things, and big problem, that means no right view, that means the question of knowledge in the first sermon. And Pranya Paramita respond to that. Somehow that means when you talk about the right view and right thinking, how you know right? First of all, how is right? A question of logic. Not only ethical anymore, but we, we move to the logic side, mathematical side. So, th- I think even in Pali Canon, the first sermon implication is moon manifold, may have many ma- ma- well, uh, ramification. Yeah, that's why this uh, in Mahayana they have different sutra like this one. But then probably because due to the 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 short net. That probably because we have to remember, you know, formally I, uh, now the question of when we, the, our Tripitaka put into script. <laughs> Not a question. I believe uh, quite early. At least we know that the Sanskrit Brahmi actually from the 3rd century BC through the Ashokan edict, we only have script already. And of course, if here we study uh, Sanskrit, we will know a very, very big name of, of linguist, that is Panini, the first book on grammar by human being, uh, Panini. Uh, and sharp I chapter Asta Adyayi. That means the grammar on Sanskrit and very very detailed. If you you know in that one, uh, when I was uh, in America at that time, some linguists tried to put it into computer to re- generate. That if you put on the thing, then generate uh, the same result or not? Yeah. So, uh, the question, when we, when the Buddha was put into paper or clothes, actually paper <laughs> later on, second century uh, Chinese uh, invention of paper, but anyway, <laughs> Vietnamese, something like that, but then the, 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 the on clothes, on uh, 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 wood on uh, rock on this thing because if if uh, in in uh, in one of the Ashokan edict Amaro Ashoka order that now you Sangha <laughs> Bhikkhu you should study five sutra in that, uh, in that, uh, in the name of this five sutra, among which there were uh, Rahula, uh, something like that, it's a, a teaching of Rahula, something like that. That so what, what does that mean? That means that actually, if we read that repeat chanting, somehow they have some counting or some put it, that means how many sutra they have. 
How many discourses of the Buddha that now at that time are spoken time they have? So and now are spoken probably at that time so many <laughs> discourses, a lot of it. I think to my my view, I think even Mahayana Sutra, even Pranya Param. Mita Sutra or Avanta Sutra at exist at that time. People want some some views that say it lay development, it's not right. We have about that, but probably because of that, a lot of different sutra exist, and probably have some list. Otherwise, he could order that you should read only five that five sutra. With the name, the title of this five sutra, then mostly that these five titles still exist in Pali Canon anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> big problem. But then the question they wonder themselves whether the title is there. And now in Pali they have the sutra with the title whether it, the same or different. <laughs> big problem. No. That means the Ashokan, because what usually we say that what we have in Pali Canon now is the trans put in on, on the, the, the palm leaf in, in, in Sri Lanka, something like that, about, uh, 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 about the century before or after Jesus Christ, you know, common error. So, uh, but then Ashokan, three and yet before, he only had that idea. So even the question of scripture. So you talk about the uh, now the uh, just like the uh, Mohan sound. They uh, ask me whether we uh, now we but just now our that main theme of the, uh, the next year Vesak in Thailand is about the middle way approach. Uh, to sustainable development, no, no. <laughs> well, so middle way. What is middle way? But uh, middle way is uh, actually that way in the, the Pali Canon. That means middle way. That means a a phone path. Yeah, right. Right view, right thinking, uh, right working on these things. Yeah. But then, if we talk about right view, as I said, right view and right thinking, how we know that? How we, what is right view? Of course, they said, uh, normally they said, oh, we, we will see that mean everything is uh, impermanent, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, I have a uh, question about the right view. Before we come to understand the right view. Okay, thank you. Uh, is this is not a question, but uh, I would like to uh, exchange our idea with the professor like this. Okay, the, the issue of the how do we know the right view in the Buddha teaching, right? Okay. I think we should back to set back to the 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 sixty two view in Prabhasala Sutta first. And then when the Posita uh in Bali or Mahapurus uh Mahapurisa learn the in the Uttaka Tapasa and uh, Uthakada, Uthakada, Uthakada Bod and Alarada Bod, like that. He learned about this. If he uh, would like to know and so then, right view in the Buddha teaching, when the Buddha is uh, when the Buddha is uh, when the Buddha is uh, in the uh, Mahapurus, uh, Mahapurusa, learn the in the right view, Uthakata Sama, and Sama Titi. 
it's right view. Uthaka right. Uthaka right. Yes. Uthaka right. 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 Do you think you would like to know and speak to this and go to teach us and then the book has been given to us and he says he wanted to say that 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 he wanted to right to view in his teaching like this. I think we understand. And then uh, we analyze in the first sermon also uh, the, the uh, Sambatiti or right to view point to understand the characteristic of uh, being or not being in the Thambachakopatana Sutta. Right this. So if we understand that it, we can uh, clarify the understanding, uh, right, uh, uh, right understanding in the Buddha teaching in the first sermon. And we can continue uh, to uh, Matiyamika and uh, to the teaching in the Karachun I think uh, it is a very clear for me. I, 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 in former time, I very complicated about this, but in this time, I don't. I clarify in myself. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You, you only have you only uh, listen to our very bone. Uh, of course, uh, in the Buddha time that now in uh, Diganikaya, yeah, Pramajala Sutta, or the first sutra of the Nikaya, talking about uh, the sixty or sixty, a uh, sixty something like that views, different view, different philosophical view, and uh, the view or view of uh, uh, about how to live. Now, and uh, of course now we, uh, we have some work uh, writing about, study about that sutra. Who's, who's and who's. Uh, uh, who, for example, there we have uh, nothing new with some, uh, at that Buddha time that somebody will say that, oh, after we uh, die, Everything will disintegrate and nothing exists. Of course, materialism, uh, what they call materialism now. Uh, and uh, we say that somebody will say, oh, uh, after we die, everything, uh, that means our soul come out and exist somewhere. E eternalism, or something like that. That means uh, different view of a city or something like that. And uh, now already there's some color study about that already. And the question, uh, you he talk about samaditi, right view, actually. And later on, uh, in Mahayana, especially Tibetan Buddhism, <laughs> Tibetan law, Buddhism loves this uh, uh, patriarch, this um, Dhanudik Naga. He wrote, uh, he wrote a book called a compendium on inference. Uh, Pramana Samutjaya. We Chinese, we don't have Chinese, complete Chinese translation. But we have complete Tibetan translation of this work of Dignaga. Dignaga. And uh, that means the Pramana Samutaya. Brahmana, Samutjaya, <coughs> Chacha. Uh, uh, and later, just, uh, some decade ago, Harvard uh, published English translation of this work, Harvard University Press, Brahmana, Samutjaya. 
uh, translated by a Japanese scholar, Kitagawa. In this school, the question now, uh, we said that DT DT Sama uh, Right view Sama uh, DT Sama DT Excuse me Sama DT Right view In this work Dignaga Pose a question. What? Uh, what? How we know? We know what they call pratyaksha. Pratyaksha. Yeah. Perception. I mean, in uh, in uh, sorry, translation in perception. Pratyaksha. Akshala. I and then uh, prati prati yaksha in uh, Chinese they usually say translate hien luong so we our, our Buddha is said about niti right view view We see, but then uh, later on, all, all the Buddhists they wonder how we view, how we know. <laughs> we view it <laughs> is sama, is right, right view. Very important, you know. Actually, the, in in traditional the definition that we view, that we view everything is impermanent, everything is selfless. Yeah, anicca, anatta. Is there a, yeah. You, you wish, yeah. yeah. You want microphone? Uh, hi, thank you very much for that. B before, I, I don't know what time do we have, but maybe before that. Um, what time do you have? Yes, 15 minutes, okay. Thank you very much. Um, we've been talking about the textual and um, very precious traditions so so far. However, um, um, because of many students here from BA, MA, and PhD leveled, some has background in Mahayana, and some doesn't have background in Mahayana. So um, if it's possible, I would like to um, request professor to put like, um, we talk about Samaditi and middle way, the, the right view and the middle way, the, um, how to do that. However, in Vesak next year, we're going to talk about sustainability. And one keyword that I would like to listen is to maintain Samaditi, to maintain the right view, and how to stay in middle way along the path. That, that one. Um, not the textual base, but skill base. Um, how how to pursue, if they want to pursue like the path of bodhisattva, I don't know the path of enlightened Buddhahood, or how to maintain the right view along the path. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, that uh, we, uh, in tradition, in the uh, Amidharma, they define clearly that right view is. Uh, You see the thing impermanent, first of all. You see the thing is selflessness. And that is the second thing. That I means if you see the thing, thing, that means you have right view. If otherwise, if you see ev everything permanent, then it's not right. <laughs> right because we feel uh, attached to it, something like attachment to it. Because you think, uh, just like the, the, the one uh, sutra they talk about, that means. Uh, And I mean, um, the, the mother had the, the, her child dead, and then, and, and, and then asked Buddha, and it's something like that. So it's um, the thing is uh, that that uh, that mean in 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 Abhidharma, they did decide that they did define that. But then the question throughout history, the Buddhists wonder themselves. 
and they propose uh, and of course in interaction with the other school of thought actually when for example Dick Naga he write his book like that in response to our, at, at his time just write right our time now we study meditation in connection with neuroscience and now for example we know that uh, for example where is the where is the the the, the 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 place that causes to sleep <laughs> what when we sleep what happened we dreaming all these things everything that means so now and some days that when mm, we meditate what kind of uh, we feel in meditation what is that where is it in, in our brain and they are fighting so somehow that means Buddhism keep uh, interact each generation have each kind of Buddhism the Buddha only gave us a clue I think so uh, a clue that means first of all uh, you wish to have a, a happy life first of all that, that promise that the, the Buddha promises us mm. that because of the he is unsat he feel un- unsatisfied with what he he live and now he he find new way and he drive you for them the inter independent relation like that and then that drive you for example that mean everything we is interconnected because of this one we have to uh, that mean in in uh, in real life that when um, Hansa he put out that mean if we accept this one, then we would be responsible for our environment, for our community, for our fellow human being. That's why I think the usually they said Buddhism in in Vietnam actually. Sometimes they to put it that Buddhism is something like uh, just uh, for individual person to see things, meditation, and just for, take for himself. I said, no. Even in history of Vietnam, that means the Buddhism, that means the Vietnamese Buddhists, they participate in any, even Buddhist monk, in many different fields, including political field <laughs> in Vietnam. Uh, that means they, every social activity in any nation, in any community, the Buddhists participate in it. Because they are responsible because of that view of, 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 of Paticca Samutpada. Yeah, so I think the, uh, uh, today that we have that. <laughs> oh, nice, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah, that's time. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for uh, lecture of uh, Professor Dr. Le Mantat in the morning. We talk uh, about the concept and principle of, Buddhist, of, of Buddhism in Mahayana sect. I think uh, we can understand uh, the concept and principle of uh, Buddhism in Mahayana. We have to start, we start back to uh, Upanishad period and uh, Brahmachala Sutta and uh, the view of uh, Aladada Bodh and Uttakata Pasa also, and then we come to the first sermon of the Buddha teaching. And uh, we illust, uh, he illustrated to Nakarajuna, uh, and to uh, Matyamika like uh, The main concept of uh, princip- uh, and principle of uh, Mahayana Buddhism is uh, uh, Bodhisattva and emptiness. All right. So in the in the afternoon session we try to apply the, con- the, pr- the concept and principle of Mahayana Buddhism to daily life and society according to the main uh, theme of uh, celebration of uh, Vesak next year also. So uh, in the morning session, enough time, and then the, uh, I invite all of you to have lunch uh, at the cafeteria building. And afternoon session, we come to this room again and uh, we continue our uh, lecture. It, uh, uh, we try to apply 
the concept to daily life and society. Okay, thank you very much for the morning session.